Hello and welcome. We are here at Dama in downtown Los Angeles. It's a little bit near Santee Alley. A little bit in a kind of a weird area, but uh, this little courtyard we're in is quite nice. We're here to try some delicious little tapas, little Latin American food, some drinks, and uh, see what it's all about. And also, they got this wonderful little game here. Let's give it a little go. If you're feeling frisky, do it to it. Nice throw! This is the Cock and Bull Special Bourbon Arm and Neck Ben Dissetine and Orange Liqueur for 16 bucks. Let's try this drink, Cock and Bull. Yeah, I just took it mm. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. So it's like, it's really good. I want to get there for Ooh. I don't know what it had, but it's Ooh. like a little bit strong. That will definitely put some hair in your chest. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's pretty good though. Nice, smooth, a little bit, very manly sort of beverage right here. Pretty good. Very simple, but very nice. This is the Sandia e Tequila. Tequila, watermelon, citrus, salt for 17 bucks with mezcal at a dollar, right there. So here I have the Sandia e Tequila, however this is mezcal, so let's take a whirl. Mm, very good, very refreshing, a little sweet, but nice on a hot summer day. Let's see how this is tasting. All right, I got the pina colada, rum, coconut, and pineapple, 15 bucks. Very simple, very good. I got the pina colada because I thought I was manly enough to have the bourbon drink and it was a little bit too much for me, so I decided to get something a little bit more at my speed. It's the pina colada. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain wrong with this one. Oh yeah, that's great. Very pina colada-y. I feel like I'm on vacation. And also this music's a little bit like, I'm on vacation a little bit too. I like it. No, it's, it's good. It's, uh, you know, you got the, the pineapple. It's great. It's all, it's all good. It's perfect. I mean, pina colada is usually pretty much Pina colada. I like it though. You can you can't really go wrong with it, but sorry. You can't really you can go wrong with it, but it's usually pretty much the same thing everywhere you go. And this is pretty good, so pretty nice. Alright, she got the Latin lover, tequila, cachaca, pineapple, gome, lime for 16 bucks. Latin lovers, um, you know, the more the better, right? So I think this is mainly tequila, but we'll see how it tastes. Mm. <laughs> tastes almost like a lemon drop, but with te more tequila forward. But uh, yeah, I I'd find me a Latin lover after this for sure. Alright, we got uh, half a dozen oysters with coriander mignonette, cocktail sauce, fresh horseradish, and lemons for $4.50 each. We got a uh, couple of them that were from California and one from the East Coast. I don't know exactly where, but whatever. I'm really blowing it. You're having this big one. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. 
Cucumber for 22 bucks. quite a, an expert on ceviche being Mexican and this is fantastic nice little creamy avocado delicious very citrusy uh, fish or whatever is on there it's really really good very fresh 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 this is fantastic Boom. we got the charred octopus Crushed Yucatan potatoes, sherry vinegar, 
parsley, roasted garlic, olive tapenade for 25 bucks. Okay. Charred octopus. So, I actually am an expert when it comes to octopus. So this would be a very interesting thing to try. It looks really good. Let's see. Looks like a little bit of charred octopus with some sort of something on the bottom. Wow. No, seriously. This is, um, this is really good. Perfectly cooked. Very flavorful. It's really easy to fuck up octopus, and this is really, really, really good. I love whatever it is on the bottom here. I probably should have done the research and figured out what this is. It's like potatoes or something. That's really... Really good. Wait, let me get in there, bud. It doesn't even taste like octopus. Because usually octopus is like very like chewy. This is very succulent, delicious. Boom. Very good. So I'm not really an octopus fan. However, this kind of tastes like chicken. And if it's easy to chew, nice seasoning, cooked to a certain texture, <laughs> it goes down really easy. And this is very nice. I agree with uh, his review. Very good. I'm going to try it with the under... That's also very good. I've just ate the, the bottom parts, take away from the top parts. So if you really want to get the full taste of the top, don't mess with the bottom. We got the oxtail tostada, cabbage, queso fresco, avocado crema, hot pickled veg, lime cilantro for six bucks. Alright, this looks very messy so we're going to try and put a plate underneath me. I need a bib too probably. I don't even know what this is but we're going to eat it so I just stuff it in my mouth. actually really good. It's some sort of beef or something and it's really tasty, really flavorful. It pairs wonderfully with the tostada. All the little vegetables and everything that are on there work very well. I like it a lot. This is good. It's a little bit hard to eat but it's pretty good if you stuff in your mouth. Very messy y'all. I definitely wouldn't recommend it for a date, but if you're on your own, you just want to scarf down some oxtail, you should come here. Oh boy, what a meal that was.
delicious drinks, great little tapas, I must say. That octopus was fantastic, not at all chewy as you usually have in an octopus. It was very nice. It almost tasted like chicken or something like that. They had some delicious agua chile, probably some of the best I ever had. Really, really good, very spicy, very, very, very nice. That oxtail tostada, fantastic. And whatever the other thing was, I also liked it, I'm sure. Don't get the cock and ball because it's a little bit strong, but maybe you're a little bit more manly than me, so you'll like it. But uh, pina colada, very nice. Anyways, I gotta say, really good place. Check it out. Don't be scared by the location. Go to it. Very nice. Five out of five.